everyone and welcome to today's grocery haul so here's just an overview of my fridge after the week of us eating as you can see it's pretty much depleted i was just going in there showing you there was just like a little bit of cheese left one thing of corn chicken i think that is or was it the ham i'm not sure but as you can see our fridge is pretty empty um the fruit and veg as well really running low and then the sauces are always like they take a long time to produce all the milk had a good go at that orange juice and then i think i'm going to go into my freezer and just give you a, a little view of in there again i found my freezer really to be quite empty uh, the lollies they go down quite slowly but um that's just like bread and previous like there's some cakes there's some mince pies in there uh, <laughs> from greg's i can't lie and some um, cakes and things and some mac and cheese bites but that's kind of stuff we use very slowly it's more just like for a treat um that's not like our regular food so that's still quite full but this one's just like the fruit and veg down because all that plastic and i shan't be buying these anymore although apparently they are recyclable you can take them back to us but i'm a bit dubious to be honest it's a bit of a hidden kind of scheme not very clear what you do with it and then yeah here's just like the leftover bits of food like i've got some that mints left over i've got some beef mints i randomly found in my freezer from ages ago i hope that's still okay and then I had this smoked salmon, which fell out, and I realised it had quite, quite certainly died. Um, so that's going on a little trip over to the bin, I think. Um, yes, goodbye salmon. Um, and then I was just going to put that on the side so I could recycle the card and put the plastic away in the bin. And then the final drawer just has some like frozen fruit salad in there that we don't really eat, but I might do at some point. So this was our shopping. This was our Asda. Got an avocado, bananas, got four apples. Now the onions, the thing was this, so this week Asda substituted all our loose veg and fruit for stuff in plastic. Um, so the onions, I'd only ordered one of each type of onion actually, and it got subbed, but because I'd only bought one onion, I paid 8p for both the packets, so I got quite a lot of onions extra, I thought this time I will go with the plastic just because i'm getting so much extra for free and the same with the potatoes they came in plastic but i took them out of the plastic and i just put the like i gave it back to the man and the carrots came in plastic too but again i paid 24p for 500 grams because they'd substituted two carrots for all of this so i just gave them the plastic back and then um, i got some fish um fingers but the vegan corn ones I haven't tried them before and they come in cardboard so that can be recycled i'm looking forward to them i got some of the asda plant-based and um, bean burgers we're looking really for more convenience food at the moment because we are so busy i'm working like mad um long hours night shifts things and then i got my favorite favorite veggie fingers these are delicious they're vegan as I was pointing out, but as you can see, they've taken the band off the side. It used to say vegan, like on a purple band. And later on, I'll show you some um, different products from this brand there. I was pointing out that it used to have, that still has the band on. You'll see what I mean. But um, the vegetable fingers are really nice, so I can't wait to have those. And I got two boxes to stock up for the whole month because they are my favourite. And then this was kind of our fridge food. I got two packets of the meat-free Richmond sausages. I had these on Christmas Day. They are delicious. They taste like the meat um, sausages you used to get in primary school, you know, the cheap ones. I feel like I should, won't buy um, as many packets again because they do come with a plastic film that can't be recycled. Um, and I might treat myself to one now and again, um, obviously do my best, but I'm going to get Linda McCartney's in cardboard. Chicken, corn, vegan, I ordered ham, it got sub. A large chicken, I only get chicken once a month, um, this is our month of the chicken. The soft spread, this is actually vegan, it doesn't say, but it doesn't have anything dairy. Two coconut milks in plastics to avoid the non-recyclable Tetra Pack, these were on offer, they were 150 each, and I do like that one. And then a coconut outpo, which I've been absolutely loving, I have it on like um, fake special K. And then here's some arancini. So my boyfriend's half Italian and we spent a lot of time in Italy in the summer and we had arancini from uh, Marsala in Sicily. Um, so I wanted to try them. I bet they're not up to par, but they are vegan. I I don't know they did um, vegan arancini, so I'm really interested. And then I found this tomato. I forgot I'd ordered it. It would have gone in the fruit section. But yeah, one beef tomato. And then I got three packets of like crispy bits, salted popcorn, and the Asda one is delicious. Um, but next time, I'm not going to buy popcorn and pack it anymore. I'm going to get unpopped kernels from the no packaging shop. And then I got proper chips, sour cream, and I got barbecue. And I once had the barbecue ones after I'd been um, on a night out, and they were, oh, delicious. <laughs> um, and then it's all my baking, wholemeal bread flour, caster sugar, 
some self-raising flour. These were 45p, the smart price. Plain flour, I hope it's okay because it had weevils in it last time, little wormy things. And um, then I'll have it again. Corn flour, because a lot of vegan recipes ask for corn flour. It probably has a plastic bag in it, but it doesn't sell that in the no packaging shop, so not got much choice. Vanilla extract. And then some of um, I'll go first to this chocolate. This is for brownies. I've got a delicious vegan brownie recipe, and you need this um, for that. And it comes in paper, so it can be recycled. So I don't mind getting that. And it is vegan chocolate as well. And then these Kit Kat Senses. Now, I've since tried these, and you're going to see a clip in the moment. That, um, these are not okay because they came in a plastic bag and they just tasted like regular Kit Kats. They were thoroughly disappointing. £1.50 for five people. I would not recommend you buy this. So much packaging. Um, no. This is all my cupboard stuff. Uh, Blackcurrant apple juice, you should get that. This was subbed. I asked for the sugar-free one. I got the full sugared one, but still good. Um, two of these bolty sauces, the Lloyd Grossman one's gone back up to like near two quid. So they were £1 each, so I thought I'd try Patax. I got my sriracha mayo, absolutely delicious. I hate the nozzle because it's not recyclable, um, but I can't get my Blembro sugar-free sweet chilli, so now I go with that. Um, baked beans, I actually ordered four big tins, but they sub two for the small tins. I've got this vegetarian or vegan ragu thing, um, just for when we're in a rush, because again, we're really busy at the moment. I wanted something convenient. Lentils, because cans can be more recycled than the plastic the mince comes in. So I thought they were a better like swap. And then I've got some apricot jam or apricot jam. I ordered a different one. I got a sub for the extra special one. So I'm not really complaining. I'm sure it'd be nice. And I like to put that in my yogurt that goes on top of my like cereal. And then, yeah, that's all my cupboard stuff. Uh-huh. Look, here it is. The bloody packaging. That's my boyfriend there, um, my lovely Mateo. But look, it says TerraCycle, but it's not. And then this is my Sainsbury stuff. I've got four of these crusty whole... No, they're white rolls. I was very disappointed. We went there, like, last time and asked him to give us some bread, not in plastic. And the man just refused. It was a different worker. So, obviously, he was not happy. So, we had to get one in plastic. I was, I was really fuming, actually. Um, but we went for this one in the end because at least that stretchy plastic can be recycled apparently at big Morrison stores whereas like the one with the holes in can't be and then I got my mushrooms from Sainsbury's and then I got a courgette as well and we also popped into Marks and Spencer's very naughty got my fries they come in a cardboard box they can be recycled these dirty fries these are really nice the garlicky tomato sauce is really good and then I got a shepherd's pie all these are vegan by the way um because again we need convenience food and it says it's for one but we can definitely half the portion and have it between two with some vegetables and something and then this was a naughty purchase um if you ever tried the banana um like hair mask from Garnier these are 98% natural ingredients they are vegan formula but I think they have some animal testing somewhere in Garnier so it's not perfect at all I try and avoid that as much as possible um but they are made of 50% recycled materials and 100% recyclable and I just got sucked in I think they were five pound fifty each I don't really I like to recycle but I don't overly rate it but um got a bit sucked in I do have loads of shampoo and conditioner but we're all learning and I've had a stressful time okay and I just got pulled in by the impulse they smell so good and then here you can see my nice full up restock fridge um, it's not the best organised, mainly because this was the next day, so everything had been moved around when we'd had things to eat, obviously. But generally, this is good, and this will last us a good week. Obviously, we don't deplete the whole fridge in the whole week, but the majority of the food. And then I just pop into the freezer to show you all of that. I was meant to go to the no-packaging shop, but I tried to go on Monday, and then suddenly realised it was closed, and I just have not had a chance. I'm too busy, so maybe next week, um, in the next haul, you'll find that. Um, thanks for watching guys, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!